In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create the drawing for your pop art project. We've already looked at several pop artists, including Andy Warhol. Andy Warhol used a grid pattern in his artwork and repeated the subject over and over. So for this project, you want to use something that we find in our popular culture, like a logo or even a lacrosse stick or a brand that we use like Under Armour or Nike, something that most people will recognize that's popular. Get it? Pop art? Now I'm going to take my paper and fold it into quadrants. This paper is going to be only for the drawing. I'm not actually going to be painting on this paper, which you'll understand in a second. Then I'm gonna take a pencil and outline just one of the, those little quadrants. And that is where I'm gonna fit my drawing of my Pepsi can. I'm gonna hold the can so I have a little bit of a tilt to it so I can see the top of the can. When you draw anything round, try to remember to use ovals or ellipses. You wanna make sure that you're not just drawing a circle. You wanna to try to use a little bit of perspective to draw your object. When I'm doing a contour drawing, I usually like to draw the entire outer edges of the object before I do any kind of detail inside, such as a logo. For this logo, I'm drawing a line across the top and one low, a little bit lower. And this is where my circle for the Pepsi logo is actually going to sit. So I wanna make sure I have some sort of guideline to show where this logo is going to be placed on the face of my can. Now I'm going to draw the text, the word Diet Pepsi, and you'll see me draw a box first. This box is going to tell me where my letters are going to fit into. So anytime you have loose things like this, like these letters, they have no boundaries, you want to actually try to draw a boundary so this way you get an accurate drawing. Now that I'm done with the pencil drawing, I'm going to go over the entire thing with black marker. I'm going to erase any pencil that's showing. Now I'm ready to copy. I'm going to fold my new project paper into quadrants. Now I'm going to use marker and trace directly onto my new paper the drawing underneath. You can also do this on a window. But because I already used marker on the original drawing, I can see right through the paper. I'm gonna make sure I line up the corners to the original drawing too, so that way I get four drawings that fit perfectly. The last thing I'm gonna do is take a pencil and make sure I outline each quadrant so I can see each box perfectly. Now I'm ready for color. Make sure you wash your hands, kids.